Hi, I'm Cody from Shannon and the Clams. And I'm Shannon from Shannon and the Clams. What's the name of your band? Shannon and the Clams. Shannon and the Clams. <laughs> <laughs> This is a story about someone who's not here right now. We have to preface the story with a disclaimer that we love you, Sean, and you're a great drummer, but this is a time when you went bad. Um, <laughs> we were on tour in Europe. We were playing this little beer bar. We're excited because everyone talks about Belgian beer and bartender's like, look, this is not like American beer. This is really strong. Be really careful. And Sean's like, I, I can handle it. He plays it off. And they were like, we know you think you can handle it. You know you drink. Belgian beer in America. It's different. But this is Belgian beer in Belgium. It's too strong. So we're doing the show. He keeps going to the bar, getting beers. Cut to like a couple hours later. I am lose track of Sean. He continues to drink beer. And then we're like trying to load out. And we're like, oh, man, he's super wasted. Like, I, you know, when someone's eyes go like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're loading out, trying to get our stuff out. We have a driver. He's taking us, we're like, okay, let's go to the hostel. Oh, but wait, our friend uh, owns this bar called Madame Moustache. Let's just stop in there and say hi to him. Bad we're idea. So we go into Madame Moustache and he says, dude, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm actually a really good break dancer. He flaps himself on the ground, just writhing around and rolling around. We should go, we need to go right now. So then we're driving back to our hostel and I remember our driver's like, just keep the window open. Cause he's like doing this sort of like, like weird belches and sort of like. Oh yeah. And we're like, keep That's the window right. open just in case. And then we get to our hostel. There's like at least four or five people already asleep in the room and we're like, just everyone going. And Sean is just talking at full volume. Like, where did I put my bags? Be quiet. Go to and, sleep. And uh, we physically like force him into the bed and we're like, stop talking. Just go to sleep now. And the second we start drifting off, he starts rolling like around. gurgling. Uh, <laughs> it gets sort of quiet, and then we hear this wet splashing all over the ground. And then we're like, oh, Sean, and we like get up. There's no freaking towels. I saw the puke. There, It was like, of course, lots of foamy beer, and then like lots of onion strips, which is like so gnarly. It made it worse. We Gather just put a sheet on puke. the barf, and just because there was no towels. Um, and we put him in the. Uh, I was gonna say refrigerator, the shower. That would have been um, a better place. <laughs> they don't have the refrigerators in Europe are like only this big. That's true. Um, yeah, we like rinsed him off in the shower and then we had used his sheet to clean up the puke. So he's just on a, I think the mattresses are covered in plastic. Yeah. Um, oh, just cause plastic. they know, wet yeah. <laughs> wet plastic dude <laughs> in the bed. We get up and I'm like, he's gonna be so hungover today. And he wakes up and he's like, oh. just ready to go. He's like, hey guys. What happened last night? What's up? Feeling great. I don't That's remember it like that. I remember him being like insanely hungover. He wasn't hungover. And just being asleep with his sunglasses passed out in the car with his mouth open all day. That's what I remember. That is true. That's that story. Hey, I know that was a ripping story and you loved it. If you want to see more, just click here and go to see more classic tales.